Today we're going to do my champs pickums 2024, so let's just dive straight into it. Uh, the way we're going to do this is I'll go a bit more in depth for these first couple games here, because obviously we know that those games will happen. Uh, everything else uh, after is obviously theoretical, so we won't spend as much time on it, but let's dive in. And we'll start with DRX vs Sentinels, a very interesting first game. Uh, a very 50-50 game, I think. Uh, if anyone is like very solidly thinks either of these teams is going to win, I would question why you would think that, because I think that this is... a uh, a very close game. Both these teams have a similar sort of story. Arguably, other than Trace, probably the biggest overperformers thus far, perhaps, as well. And both of them started pretty bad, right? In DRX's first map against Crew, they got absolutely destroyed. Obviously, in Sentinel's first game against Gen.G, they kind of got destroyed, right? But then kind of pulled it back, DRX in that first game, Sentinel's then in their second and third game, uh, to where they then looked very good, right? And, and continued on that streak and now are here and I think are, have a decent chance looking at their side of the bracket of actually making it very deep whoever wins this game, right? This is a very important game because whoever does win this, I would say it's probably going to be slight favorites for the upper semi-final and, you know, has a chance to get to that upper final in the top four straight away, uh, top three even straight away. So, this is a very important game. In terms of how I think that this will go, I do think there is one slight edge that DRX have, which is the map veto. DRX have generally coming into this tournament been banning uh, either Lotus or Sunset. Those are two of Sentinel's best maps. So whichever one they choose, you know, they're getting rid of a good map. And probably whichever one they don't choose, they can be pretty confident that the Sentinels are going to pick that map. Uh, from Sen's perspective, they uh, were banning Icebox, but then I think after they beat Gen.G on Icebox, they banned Ascent against Gen.G. I think they'll probably stick with that Ascent ban Maybe for the rest of the tournament, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I, I would expect them to ban Ascent, which is a decent map to ban against DRX as well. I do think that DRX have a fairly significant maybe advantage in this whole tournament, though, which is that they could just be the best Abyss team now, right? Like, they could just be the best Abyss team. And if you can get Abyss in all these games, because none of these teams that are left in this tournament are banning Abyss now. And so you're going to probably be able to pick Abyss against every single team you play. And DRX thus far, I think, have shown themselves to be probably the best Abyss team uh, maybe in the world thus far. So that could be just a massive advantage for, for DRX, uh, where if they can just get Abyss in all of these games, I, I think they, they have a massive advantage. Now, I do think that DRX's map pool overall is still probably slightly better than Sentinel's, but very, very slight. I think this will come down to a close map three, but I think because DRX have a bit of a map veto advantage in terms of where the map veto is likely to go, they can have a better plan for what maps are likely to be played. And I think that Abyss is a big factor that they can maybe beat anyone on Abyss, and that's a, a big advantage in this whole tournament. I am just going to slightly lean DRX, but I would be very surprised if it wasn't a 2-1. Okay, next up, Trace versus EDG. And uh, for this game, I know that Trace obviously have looked incredible thus far. But I really think that this is a bad matchup for them. I think this is one of the worst matchups they could have got because EDG are going to ban Ascent, which is Trace's best map. And that's not great. Now, Trace probably can beat EDG on Bind, right? If EDG do go back to their Ascent ban. They can probably beat them on bind, so that, that is a map that they probably should be looking to win. But unfortunately, on the other maps that EDG are probably going to want to play, that's where Trace are in a lot of trouble, because Trace are going to ban Icebox, and we all just saw what EDG's Icebox looked like against Paper Rex. It was not very good, but that has been Trace's ban for the entire season. They have never played that map this whole season, so they're probably going to stick with that ban of Icebox. And then EDG should be looking at the rest of the maps, and I think being pretty... Looking at it as a pretty favored event. Now, maybe we end up on a weird third map, like Abyss or something for these two teams. Could be very shaky and, you know, be very weird. Uh, but EDG have beaten Trace before on Abyss. So, I I'm looking at the rest of the map pool. And I just think that EDG have that map veto advantage in this one. And also, they have the kind of experience of being here, right? Like, Trace have done well to get to this point. Now, it's kind of getting, a, you know, quite serious. Uh, and I think EDG, just with that experience and with the momentum, having beat Paper Rex... I think I am going to go EDG. Okay, and then we get G2 versus Leviathan. Obviously, we've seen this game happen quite a few times already. Obviously, we saw it in America's Grand Final, the America's Upper Final, uh, where Lev won the Grand Final, of course. G2 won the Upper Final, so it should be a close game, uh, you would have thought. Uh, and I think that the map veto is actually somewhat set in stone, particularly for the first four maps. I don't really see it going other way than G2 ban Sunset, Leviathan are going to ban Lotus, G2 are going to pick Bind, Lev are going to pick Icebox, and then we'll have to see what map 3 is. 
And that is a very interesting conundrum because like both of those teams should be able to beat the other team on their map pick just based off what we've seen before. Interestingly, in the upper final when G2 did play Lev, they did beat Lev on Icebox, uh, which is one of the only times Lev have lost Icebox this entire season. Uh, that was with a 10-2 attacking half from G2, so maybe if they can repeat that, you know, they'll be fine. But they have lost Icebox again at this tournament in one of their games as well, so... I don't think their Icebox is good enough to where they can reliably beat Lev. I think that was a bit of a one-off, and I would expect Lev to win that. However, I do think that G2 overall, I think overall G2's map pool is a bit better than Lev's. And I think that, again, we'll probably be looking at coming down to that third map. And that's where I think on some of these other maps, I think G2 will probably just about have the edge on Leviathan. And then we get Team Heretics versus Fnatic. And this one... For me, very much comes down to what Heretics decide to ban. Because if they ban Ascent, which has kind of been their perma all year, they have gone sometimes away from that in these crucial games, right? When they think it's, you know, a kind of big disadvantage. This would be one of those times, right? If you ban Ascent against Fnatic, you're doing them a favor, right? They don't want to play on Ascent either, in my opinion. So if Team Heretics do ban Ascent, they are in a lot of trouble because you're probably going to have to play Haven and you're almost certainly going to lose against Fnatic's Haven right now. Uh, so it basically would be 1-0 straight away to Fnatic before the map veto is even completed at that point. If they don't ban Ascent and do ban, for instance, Haven or something, right, then I think it shifts dramatically because Fnatic won't pick Ascent, right? So Team Heretics, Neil Zeno, if you're listening, ban Haven. They won't pick Ascent, right? Like You can still probably be confident they aren't going to pick Ascent. Right, and you've got a couple days to maybe prepare something as well. But I think a lot of it will come down to that. In terms of the overall form of these teams, again, I think it's going to be very close. I think the matchups that we've got, I know we've got a lot of regional matchups here, but I think a lot of them are very, very close, right? This is a very, very good champs with a lot of close games that I would kind of be surprised if any of these were 2 0s in, in a way. Obviously, that probably will happen, but I think we could get a lot of close games here. Um, I don't know why, but I am just slightly leaning Fnatic. I think it's because I feel like Team Heretics will ban Ascent and they will give Fnatic the advantage. So I am going to go Fnatic. Okay, then let's come to the lowers first. We got Sen versus Trace. And uh, this is probably one of the easiest games, you might think, uh, to do a pick here where Trace are going to go out. But the thing is, I promised myself I wasn't going to have Trace just going straight out. Even before the draw was made, I thought everyone's just going to have Trace going out 7th, 8th. And I'm not going to be one of those people. They've already surprised people by getting this far. But they're going to do it again and surprise people again by winning a game. And unfortunately, the way that this has all come about is that this might have to be the game. And really, this is where logic kind of goes out the window. And I know you're all going to call me a Sen hater anyway uh, for doing this. Uh, look, I've, I'm sticking to my principle of Trace will win a game in playoffs. And unfortunately, it has to be this game. Look, I didn't make the draw, Sentinels fans. I didn't do it. Okay. And if anything, me cursing you like this probably makes it more likely that Sen will win the tournament. So you're, you're welcome anyway. How this would happen is quite interesting because if Sen did stick with their Ascent ban, Trace would be in a lot of trouble. So the only feasible way I could really see this happening for Trace is if they play Bind against Sen and beat Sen on Bind, which I think is actually fairly plausible that they could do that. And then because Trace are playing Cypher Deadlock, it creates just absolute PTSD for John QT. And for the rest of the game, they lose bind. And then for the rest of the time, John is not giving any calls, right? Zelsus is saying, John, say something, bro. What are we doing? What are we doing? You got to help us. What are we? What's the call? And he's just mumbling, deadlock, bind, cypher, gravnet, deadlock, deadlock, cypher, bind, gravnet, gravnet. And that's all he's doing, right? That is the only way I can see Trace, you know, winning this game because in theory they should have a pretty bad map veto against Sen other than Bind. Uh, so yeah, maybe just a bit of PTSD, but I'm sticking to my guns that Trace have to win a game. Uh, Lev versus Team Heretics. I mean, could be a, a stormer of a game again, right? A, a, a crazy game. I mean, this champs is, is kind of stacked, right? If we're going to get like a lower game like this, I mean, any combination of the lower of this game, right? G2, Lev, Team Heretics, Fnatic. Any combination of this first elimination game is an absolute banger game. Uh, so this one as well is going to be crazy. Again, this is a hypothetical game, so I'm not going to spend as much time on it. But basically, I'm a Team Heretics believer. And we're going to see that for the rest of this pick. So I'm going to pick Team Heretics. We come to the uppers. We've got DRX versus EDG. Now... Again, this could get a bit crazy. This could be a very, very crazy game. But I think, again, EDG aren't going to ban Abyss. 
And I think the RX will just be able to beat them on Abyss. I think the RX are starting 1-0 up in this game. And, and, and so I'm going to go DRX here, right? Obviously, they're at home as well, you know, uh, but I'm going to go DRX here. Then G2 versus Fnatic. Again, I mean, just absolute banger after banger right here. Uh, G2 versus Fnatic. What a game that would be. Uh, again, Fnatic should be able to get onto Haven, which is, again, a map that they should be able to beat G2 on. But I think that G2 will have the advantage on a few maps as well. We could get a banger Lotus game. Both these teams are good at Lotus. We could get a crazy good Lotus game. I wouldn't be surprised if this game came down to a deciding map Lotus, uh, you know, which would be a very, very good game. Um, but I am just going to slightly lean G2. I, I have a feeling G2 in a best of three. I, I'm feeling a bit of G2 right now. Uh, coming to the lower round two, we got Fnatic versus Trace. I would go Fnatic there over Trace. Uh, we got EDG versus Team Heretics. And again, I'm a Heretics believer. This is where both Chinese teams crash out for me. Fifth, six. Not bad, to be honest, especially for Trace. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's where I have them going. Then we come to the upper final. And this is where, you know, you're looking at G2 and you're thinking, this is your chance, G2. Right? This is your chance to go and make history right here. But I'm going to say that they don't. And you're going to be like, TMV, what are you doing? DRX going to the grand final. What are you doing? You have to remember, though, that at this point in the, in the, in the game... This is where we'd have the big crowds, right? The last four, there will be a massive crowd. If DRX did make it to this point, there would be a massive crowd in their favor. And so I'm going to go with that and that kind of wills DRX over the line. A big crowd, they beat G2. And then we have Fnatic versus Team Heretics. And earlier on, I had Fnatic beating Team Heretics. But in the lowers, Team Heretics have started to find their groove. And they go on a run. They go on a run and they beat Fnatic here. And in the lower final, we get a rematch of the lower final from Shanghai. G2 versus Team Heretics. And history repeats itself where Team Heretics beat G2. And then we'd have the grand final. DRX versus Team Heretics. And I know what you're all going to think. How the hell is this your grand final, TMV? DRX versus Team Heretics. It makes no sense. And who's going to win? Well, I'm going to go slightly off script here for those who, of you who know what I'm talking about. Because... I'm going to pick Team Heretics because I picked Team Heretics to win this event before the event. And so I'm sticking with my pick. 